driven through heavy rain to spend a day here at Wood Walton Fen. There's some fantastic habitat here. There's a couple of meres and some really beautiful mature woodland and large expanses of reed bed. And the reserve is crisscrossed by these dark water channels filled with pristine waters stained brown by peat, which was dug here for fuel both before and after the creation of the nature reserve. Well, as I mentioned earlier, we drove here in heavy rain, which decided to continue on and off for around about the first three hours that we were here. And this rain today and the rain we've had previously has certainly brought out the vegetation. Looking around, it's so beautifully green and lush. Well, despite the weather, there was some wildlife. We saw Canada geese, a few coot, some in the process of nest building, some mallard, of course, male reed buntings, and then things improved dramatically with views of both female and male marsh harriers. I think this male was thinking about attempting to hunt, but then thought better of it and decided to land in this distant tree and patiently wait for the weather to improve. Well, eventually the weather did improve. It actually stopped raining and gradually more and more blue sky appeared. And then to our delight, the sun came out in all its glory. And the appearance of the sun heralded my first view for 2015 of a cuckoo, which took us by surprise by flying almost right over our heads before eventually landing in a distant tree. One of the species we saw in the dry were gadwall and grey lag geese with our first view of goslings for 2015. And up in the sky, yet another male marsh harrier. Wood Walton Fen's a real hot spot for marsh harriers. And we also saw, of course, mute swan and tufted duck. And this female pochard. One of the biggest frustrations of the day was the constant chatter of both reed and sedge warblers, which apart from the odd tantalising glimpse, remained hidden from my lens deep in the reeds. More obliging were these common turn. The male came in with this rather large fish and we thought he might present it to his female but despite her constant begging he kept it for himself. Well as is customary I'm going to leave the best till last because here's my best ever view and certainly the best footage I've ever got of this bird, a hobby. We noticed it perching in this dead tree on the left hand side of Rothschild's mere then flew across in front of us to land in another tree on the right hand side of the mere to give us an even better view. Absolutely superb. Here's a few hobby facts. They have a green status for the RSPB. They arrive here in the UK in April and they'll stay here till September, October time. And there's around about 2,800 breeding pairs here in the UK. They feed on insects and small birds. They're incredibly fast, agile, manoeuvrable flyers. And you'll see them chasing dragonflies, swallows and martins, often catching and eating their prey on the wing. Well, that's almost it from Wood Walton Fen. But I took some slow-mo footage of the turns and the hobby, so I'll leave you with that.